And we might have just had some audio. Missed all the excitement from the start of the match up there, Nos. Uh, well, probably for the best if you've been hearing this all go. It's a great gibbering. But no, we're back. We should be all alive there for you. And uh, what I'll do is I'll run through and give you the team list here once we have Addo Wyunga's conversion of the first points here for Brothers. Still a decent crowd in here. Plenty of love, uh, Amber Strikes Fluid. Plenty of the sponsors' product going on the range. Conversion successful. 6 0. And. Uh, Conversion successful to the number six from Brothers Adawanga. Brothers six, leading Charles Towers yet to score. Plenty of support for the Miners. Well, this could have plenty on it. It's gone high. It's going to float. And uh, Mario Anderson Not a lot makes of depth it easy. with the breeze, though, was it? Then no, Anderson nearly jumps out of that tackle. Uh, yes, so we'll just run through those sides for you again. Four uh, brothers today. The number one, Dylan White. Number two, John Cullen. Number three, Taika Rucci. The four is David McBride and the five, for Fire Fire Liar. In the halves, the number six, Jesse Pamari Anderson. And the seven, Ado Wyoming. And locking down at the scrum in the front row is Sion Lousy in the 18, Nathan North in the 9, Nicholas Brown in 10, Chippy Corisek and Bingham Balanzetti are the back rowers, and Joseph Boyce at lock. On bench for brothers, you have the 14, Lachlan Lurch, 22, Daniel Guy, 21, Joseph Price, and the 17 jersey is Trey Valentine. And it's a high kick, floating for Heitman. Dead penalty inside the 10. Just in front of the kicker there. That'll be, yeah. Uh, well, they were reading a sigh of relief there, Heitman. Thought they were all off. Now we go through the Charters Tower side for you. Number one, Blake Heitman, who was the back of the year in the uh, Rugby League Townsville District. Also a former under-19s player of the year. It's Mitch Burton, finds touch. Number two, Liam Cashmere. Three, Bailey Bliss. Four, Harry McQueen. Five, Azariah Illinois Sam. In the halves, you have the number seven, Mitchell Burton. The number six, Adam Shaw. Ty Laidlow taking a hit up there with Joe Boyce racing out to assert himself. In the front row for Charters Towers, you have the eight, Corey Walker, with a penalty there. The 10, Ryan Kinsey, and the hooker, Dylan Hasty. In the back row is number 11, Josh Radford, and number 12, Mitchell Basket. And at lock, Ty Laidlow. The 14 is Connor Lurch, 15, Cody Thorne, 16, Caelan Williams, and 17, Braithen Porter. And they are coached by Sean Casey with the brother side, coached by Michael Parker Walsh, who we heard from earlier today. No, it's both coaches are very complimentary of each other. Yeah, yeah. Didn't no, want to think... give uh, too many legs up, and but there's a, a very healthy uh, rivalry and friendship between the two clubs, between brothers and Charters Towers, and has been for a long time, sharing some uh, special days here at Stevens Memorial Day. It always happens over here. It's always a fantastic day. And as we speak, Noz, we can see down the back the uh, Miners banner floating off the deck. So, that's a first, I reckon. That's uh, a first yeah, for Jack Mansky Oval. Half the town there. Half the town there. And the other half tuning in uh, to the live stream. We'd hope so. Now, Towers on the attack. Burton. Mitchie Burton. Oh, that's a silky from Mitch Burton. And that's uh, who's going over there? Is that Josh Radford? Joshy Radford. That is silky skills from Mitchell Burton and uh, he, might have, left too. he might have a word to Joshy Radford because he could have he might have jagged himself a six pointer but Radford no they'll take it I think he's gone to his left I think I don't even think he's kicked off his right foot has he oh no it's off the left that'll do me a little fist bump Mitchie Burton yeah yeah Josh Radford try scored by the Charters Towers number 11 Josh Radford Brothers six, lead the Charters Towers, minus four, kick to come. Look out, I can see a uh, big ton out there, Troy O'Neill and Derek Muss running the water. Two very knowledgeable ton was telling me on Friday night that he is the uh, he was the 18th man. And I said, are you really? He goes, that's self-appointed. <laughs> I'll just run the water, he reckons. Great man, Troy O'Neill. Stalwart for the towers out there. 
He's a nightmare. He's been running around a little bit of Reggie's and a little bit of A grade, and he's a he's a nightmare. I tell you, for an outside back slipping back through the middle. Yeah, how about the conditions here at Jack Minsky Oval with the late afternoon sun going down? Is there a better place? How good is rugby league? Sun setting in the background. I should write uh, some poetry about it. Maybe write a song. I can strum four bars there, four chords there, Noz, if you want me to. Burton strikes it, likes it. And Mitchie Burton locks us back up at six all. It's a prize fight, this one, Noz. Yeah. Oh, well. We always knew it was going to be a tough game. We always Burton knew that both teams... Why Mitchell Burton locks the scores up. Brothers six, Charter Stowers minus six. Make some noise. Now, it's been a long time since they've been in the qualifying final, so you knew they were going to turn up and have a real crack today for their supporters and for their town. And obviously, brothers, you know, they're there every year, but you've got to keep doing it year after year. You can't just turn up and expect to make qualifying finals. So, a little bit of turnover this year, and uh, no, we know how the year started. So, South came out here and really... Uh, I guess sort of caught it down to brothers and had a few people thinking that uh, could they go again? Was there some crack showing? But it's uh, they fought their way through. Still here as minor premiers. Credit to Michael Parker Walsh and his coaching team. And that was, we've spoken about it from both sides. Credit to the coaches here. Oh, uh, Nathan, over the old fox. He stole Wiley, my shorey. Wiley. Those two boys have played, um, boys. played a lot of rep football against each other. They know each other's games pretty well. Yes. It's, uh, I think Noz, it shows all four clubs, the four teams in the finals here, have done a fantastic job bringing through their young guys. There's been a lot of under-19s players that have debuted and they go yeah, through yeah. these sides through depth. I don't think that... Well, Chippy, uh, he's still going around. Chippy, look at him go. Beats one, beats two. And an offload now, Lousy. With Brown pushing to a hole. Hey, well, Matt. Norford, dummy half, 10 metres out. Norford out the way, uh, Wanga. They're set to the left. Short ball to Bingham Bellanzetti. What a handy cricketer too, young Bingham. And they come back to Pamari Anderson, goes around the back, drops it on the shoe. This will float. And it's Johnny Cullen. Well, we might have to get a word out there that uh, Johnny and the young Ty, there's going to have to be a scissors, paper, rock off for a haircut or something. If they're going to be on the same edge together, they've got to sort that out. That's terrible for the callers up here who have, uh, it's like, Twin brothers out on the edge there. Yeah, it'd be a play play later play, plays the ball. Uh, Kevin Roger White is giving the uh, ball boys a bit of praise. Hey, Harry McQueen. McQueen. He's had a good year. Played a bit of false shield. Young Day Harry this and year. Uh, got a debut, mate, in the, at uh, Cup. Young Harry McQueen, yes. How yeah, good is that? Yeah. You're wrong. I'm pretty certain. Oh, Adrian know. Thompson's floating around the ground. Adrian, if you're around the place, let us know. But I'm uh, almost certain Harry McQueen got a call up this year. Google it. I'll text him. Sure, was right about that. Or if you're listening in, uh, Mrs. McQueen and Mr. McQueen, I'm sure you'll know. He's going to try and take us. You're going to let him bounce. Dylan White now watches it bounce, and yeah. he, now he's begging it to go over his head. Yeah, and he, he, knows, uh, he got he, lucky. He knows his brother's field. Uh, that's it. It's a bit of local knowledge there. Six all arm wrestle, 13 in. And law, Fi Fi Law. The flyer, Khalifa. A bit of mail that Khalifa might, uh, they're scratching his itch back for brothers, might have uh, re raised another itch of getting back to cut level for Khalifa next year. Really? Some, some mail. I can't back that up, but uh, he certainly. He looks good, Khalifa. You see him out on the road running around. He's still got plenty of... Uh, he can still get around all right. Sioni. Pousey takes the ball up. Jesse Pomer Anderson was sit, sitting off his shoulder. Now Jesse's second phase. Here we go. Set up the first try. Great it's a great ball. ball. Brought it to ground. Taking the ground yeah, by... Yeah. Big shift for Jesse. He's moved into the halves this year. He's played a lot of fullback at uh, Centrals. And some in the centres. Not going to play on here. Ball away, Mills Pryor with a good offload, but he's found a little knock on. Well, we'll have to go with him there. He's a lot closer to it than I am. I'll have to uh, take his it's word for it. that initial one. I thought it was certainly a knock on from the towns. There might have been a little touch there. Let's have a look here, Hawley, in the replay. Oh. 
50 of one, half a dozen of the other. Or six of one, half a dozen of the other. Each way, anyway. You know what I mean. If I was a gambling man, I'd know how to say that properly. Shout out to me, mate there, Cameron Miller. The spell. Got your text there, Spill. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. And uh, it'll be Spill of Sports Show making its way down the highway from Cairns. Making their way down the highway from Cairns to bring you all the action on grand final day. So uh, we're looking forward to catching up with your Spill when you get down here. But how good's this rugby league here? At the moment, the Miners. This is... Uh, Grassroots Rugby League and it's best coming to you live from Jack Mansky Oval, wherever you're watching us from. It could be oh, Holland Lloyd's at six penalty. No, he doesn't blow it. Try Laidlo. Oh, and there's heavy contact. It's Brown. Brown oh. and Laidlo. And for all those, uh, we spoke to Walsh about it earlier, but for all those retired footballers, it's shots like that that just make you just a little bit happier that you're uh, over here and not out there. Holy wide. 40-20 here. Yeah. He's gone down the middle of the field. Down to Johnny Cullen, not Ty Carucci. It's got a ring to it. How do you get that wrong, mate? Ty anyway. Cullen and Johnny Carucci, you reckon? It's uh, name a more iconic duo on the right edge there for brothers. Now, yeah, five five four. It's away from one. Boy. He's still elusive. He's not that old, Khalifi, is he? He's about 22. He just, just evergreen. All up to Boise. No oh, boys get some offload now. Chippy the ball Horacek. goes on the deck. Just Harley settles it, Chippy. Hasty goes, and huh? burden around him. Gee, some familiar names through that uh, Charters to Hell sort, isn't there? Brown. It's been a bit of a uh, standout season, though. as we said. He got the forward of the year for Nick Brown. So coming, mate, you came off a bad injury for Townsville last year in the Foley Shield Where when they traded the Rocky. Here's going here. Towards the flat advance. And oh, it's secured it. Just. Well, that could have been trouble for the Towers, but Hartman has come up with it. Some players just seem to find the footy, don't they? Yep. But, uh, yeah, so he's made his way back off injury, Nick Brown, and uh, he was in cracking form last year when that injury hit. Great to see him back, and he's continued that oh, form. Pick yeah. up the Mitchie basket at his feet. Not a good ball there, dummy up, but he did the, did the job. Is he to have uh, a few jerseys in the back there? Charles Towers jersey, Mitchie basket with different numbers. He, he plays anywhere, Mitchie, doesn't he? Just uh, yep. he's that that player you got to have that just fills any role. She Burton doesn't put any spin White. on it. Yeah. Down to Dylan White. You can't give him too much space, Dylan White. He scored a couple from the backfield here, but that is strong defence. Sure, over sure. the top. To be sure, Adam Shaw will not miss you. So uh, hopefully we might get a chance to catch up with Shorey again here and find out how his golf game's been going because I know uh, footy season chews into a fair bit of it. So interesting to see whether shorey has been able to get. Uh, he had an addition to the family uh, last year. And then getting married was a big year last year for Shorey. Yeah, now. Know the family well from the Towers. Norfolk off the <laughs> foot. Off the foot, play Boyce, on. Boyce, Lousy, Addo Wanger now. White. Mills Pryor. He's got, he's elusive. Oh, and Hartman looking to return it with interest. Free flowing, end to end. Ginzy. Ginzy takes the shoulder there of, I think it's North and underneath. Yes. What a half of footy this is. Solid footy. Both sides feeling each other out here. Caleb Williams there onto the field. Over the edge. Young Blitzy and Bailey. He scored two. And uh, Stevenson weekend here, BC. See you away. So you're going out. No, he's staying in. The young fella. Penalty there. There you go. The young fella just to our front here, Noz, who made his debut for Charters Towers this year. Azariah Lenoy Sam. Have you seen much of him? No. Nah. You're in for a treat, mate. I've uh, got the uh, privilege of watching Azariah go around in a nice competition on Palm Island. Plays well above his age, just been scooped up by the Cowboys. And uh, his school side has been traveling through in the, the schools competition, the second tier schools competition there. But uh, he's quite a mover, young Azarora. Fantastic Island, to see a young Palm Island boy getting his opportunity with the cows there, locking him up. 
Who's his dad? Good question. Someone texted is, through. Is he, related, you know, is he related to Mislam? He's got to be. Well, he's called it out. So if you're be... following on, on Blue Collar Sports, uh, young Azariah, flick us through. If uh, any family members want to give a shout-out, I'll do some shout-outs here in the game too at the back end. Send it through. We'll shout-out anybody. I'll be on the socials. Blue Collar Sports on Facebook. And we'll uh, – I know Facebook's for old people, but we haven't graduated to Instagram or the TikToks, so or I've had a crack. But uh, shout us through some messages on uh, Blue Skull Sports on Facebook. Follow along the game, and we'll give you some shout outs as the day goes on. Sure, we'll be watching from everywhere. We get people following on Perth. Got people in New York jump on and, uh, and catch a bit of our action here now as Joey Boyce is dragged down 35 metres out. Trey Valentine on the field now. Chippy Korachek, another strong carry. Met hard by Williams. Korachek, Dylan Hasty holding on there. Sione Lousy takes the line out of oh, Anger. He's got over Mills Pryor. Mills Pryor has threatened. What a battle we've got on this left edge here. Yeah, him and left versus team. right here. Two young bucks. I spent a bit of time together at the Hawks in the uh, that age on. systems and how he He's turns it that over. Mitchie Basket come up with the ball. Did you follow Mitchie Basket? Here he is. As a Raya. Nice Sam, one of the Sam boys. He's our try a, lot of good a lot of good footballs come out of the Island, mate. Yes, you can all play. Seen a couple of boys today. Young Rose Allen Pearson was over on the island there. Us, Ben O'Hara, playing today for South. Oh, that was getting me guy in reserve grade for the Central Tigers. You reckon? No, I don't think so. But uh, getting me to have a crack. I'll be back next week from the Reggies for the Tigers. But as we go here, as Bliss, Bliss. oh, he almost threw there. Korshek got a bit. Of, bit. Yeah, he got a bit of a name. Kick Burton down the corner. That's where you want to be playing footy. That is a good kick. Play oh, them down the corner. This is a heavyweight title. Another gun in the middle here. Heavyweight title fight. This Both sides here, just uh, in the early rounds, just gauging each other off, leading with the jab, feeling each other out, waiting to see who cracks first. This will go 12 rounds, North, for sure. See, well, there hasn't been a lot of work on the uh, microphone. It's just end to end, 12 all. Enjoy your footy, ladies and gentlemen. And if you can hear that uh, outside there, there's plenty of noise going around the ground. There's plenty of eyes on board. The deck's chock a block. Plenty of support. <laughs> Finals footy, you got to love it. It's the best time of year. Oh, here we are. We're visited in the box by Tommy Dungavell, chairman of. Uh, TDRLA Referees Association. I might grab Tommy for a quick chat. At, uh, we get an opportunity here. Done a great job again. Joey the boys. His refs are doing a good job out here. Valentine. I haven't heard one complaint about the match officials today. That means Tommy's done his job. That could be a 40 20. No, it's not. In the breeze, it was. Too. Nice, Sam. He's. That's right. I'll ask up and then I see him. Well, Just let you get that uh, spring roll in here, Tommy, and then we'll jump you over. We'll grab you over. Oh, mate, that'd just be for a couple of minutes. Yeah, Tommy, that could knock you over, that. Referee would know it, please. Oh. I'll take a lot more than that. And we've got Liam Cashmere taking a, a carry now. They're 10 metres out from halfway. Yeah, Cashmere came in. They had a like. A late, oh, oh boy, Joe he, Voice. He bounced off it. He does love to get he out there and impose Kim, himself on the game, Kim, Joey he Voice. Bounced off it. He won that battle, Rhino. Voted as the uh, biggest hitter in the Townsville competition, Joe Boyce. Hey, McQueen. Boys, kids. This has been a ding-dong battle out the side. Yeah, it's good footy. It's real good footy. Let's have hey. a look at the score down to Mackay too. Mackay Brothers, 22 sick lead and Serena 16 with not long to go. Wow, that takes me back to the old ADC days around the yeah, ground. Around Thanks the ground. to uh, Paint Away. Well, I looked at the scores yesterday. See, uh, Innisfar Brothers have gone through to the Boys. final. Up in Cairns. No, it's yeah. just beating them over the dead ball on their nose. Innisfail Brothers through to the final in Cairns. I see that uh, they had a win yesterday. Over, uh, who did they beat? Ivan Wow, that'll be a uh, big one. 
a fantastic couple of snapping cans too as well. See a couple of the NRL boys have made their way back there as we get a penalty and a little push and shove from the boys. And Taylor Worth, just a certy, bring him his dad voice. He's been working on that, Taylor. He's our dad voice. He brought it into play there. I've heard it's been going exceptionally well. Tommy, fantastic, mate. Thanks for joining us up here and uh, got through today. It's been a pretty good day so far. Yeah, no, look, we love finals for you. It's what we do it for. So um, long season. Everyone's had a, had a red hot crack at it. And, and yeah, we, we find some levels to people and, and see who's ready to step up and see who's ready to put their mark onto the game and just be involved. Exactly. It's, uh, sometimes it's uh, the stuff, I suppose, that goes without saying. You know, we sort of see with the players and the best players sort of rising through there and the pressure that comes with it. But two, for the referees, it's a big day for them, for some of them young folks. Big moments coming in and on the stage here. And they've done a uh, fantastic job today, mate. The... Yeah, look, over the weekend, obviously, a couple of uh, Golden Point games. Pretty tight. Shows a really strong comp. You must love those, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, loves it when it gets down nice and close. It gets the punters back in and... Uh... Enjoying soaking up this, uh, eight, these two A grade contests, mate. What a season it's been here in the Rugby League Townsville competition. I've played for a long time. I've got an injury out here to young Trey Valentine, I think. Good legs tackle from uh, Connor Lurch, new onto the field, trying to impose himself. And uh, just re reeled out of that one. Mate, um, lastly, before we sort of let you go, boy, it's Addo Wanger showing and going. It'll be the last tackle here. We'll just get through this play as Norford tries the Wiley Nathan Norford. Rolls it in the back, and Heitman juggles but gets it. And now the towels will work their way off their own line. Will they? They will. So there you go, young Azra Illinois Sam, getting a carry. So, yeah, Tommy, just uh, any uh, special mentions make from the referees uh, side of it that you'd like to make while we're on the live stream here for uh, supporters of the referees that you've had through this year? Oh, look, you know, we, we've got a really strong supporter base. We always have. Um, our exec team our coaches, you know, the people we don't see behind the ground the field. Every club's got them. It's, it's people that get involved and, and have a team out on the park. And as a result, you know, it's a, it's a big shout-out, you know, the likes of Kim McDonald, Louine Finlay, Marty Silas, you know, without them, we just wouldn't be on the park. So, Johnny Newman, so... Great, Johnny's been up here with us today. That's got sure he's, That has put plenty on it, but Dylan White saved his house out the back. No, well said, mate, fantastically said. As Dylan White makes a bit of a break down the edge. And it's shut back down now. Khalifa Fifi Laura will look to get a carry back through the middle here. Uh, once again, Tommy, fantastic today, mate. Good luck through the rest of the final series and uh, all the best. No worries. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Now we've just got brothers working their way out off the half and we are lucky enough to be joined in the box here by South Captain Sean Nona, mate. Congratulations. Fantastic getting through today. Hard uh, mouth stuff early in the, in the uh, first half. Yeah, we made it tough on ourselves in the first half. Um, Central showed up with attitude and... The game was in the balance here until half time. And yeah, we got, we got the chocolates in the end. Shows the uh, depth, mate. We've been talking about it all day. Right through all the grades that have been exceptional, but right through all the competitions. Just how tight the Townsville competition's been this year, mate, and the quality across the park. You know, um, Central's there probably just didn't get a couple of opportunities they didn't sort of take, and then it just got away from them at the end. But that first half is as high quality as you'll sort of see locally, eh? Yeah, it went um, end to end there for a while. Um, both teams were just competing very high, and you know, once one thing scored a try the other team to retaliate straight away and hit one back. So yeah. Yeah, it was very back and forth there early. And that's, um, you'd be pleased with that, mate, at the back end of the game because, as, as we sort of mentioned, there have been a couple of games here where sort of at the back end you, you've had a couple that have sort of caught you out. So it would have been pleasing for yourself and um, Andrew as well over to see the, your boys close it out that well. Yeah, I was glad with the attitude in the second half. Um, we come out of the sheds really, really good. Um, put two early tries on them and um, got to control the game at the back end of that half. So... Yeah, I was very happy with the boys. Yeah, nice. And, uh, mate, Sean, I know you're a big fan of doing a lot of video review and watching this. You'll be watching this one pretty closely, mate, or are you just going to float in and, and see how he's going next week, have a crack? No, I'll we'll watch closely. Obviously, um, we're just uh, the loser of this game. So um, we'll have this week to recover and get ourselves right and take on take on whoever it is. So what you're saying is it uh, doesn't matter who goes through it here, you're just looking for a bash up just uh no, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We've got to show up with the right attitude and whoever it is, uh, make sure we do our job. Mills Pryor. Mills Pryor. Well, I'll tell you what, we've said at this edge here over here, this battle between Mills Pryor and uh, young Harry McQueen. How good are some of the young talent coming through the comp at the moment, mate? Ooh, We've just yeah, got a penalty be. here and uh, it's young Darnell Guyer. Now, the boys just having a bit of a chat. I think they're right. They're just, Darnell, where are you heading out to tonight, mate? Do you want to split an enchilada? Mate, no, they're happy. Ryan said, no, sorry, mate, I've gone vegan. I'm not keen. 
So, uh, but yeah, the young talent, mate, has been coming through. It's so exciting with all these young guys, the 19s boys that have come up through all the sides. We've mentioned that the, the top four sides have really done a great job of bringing through their young guys. I know you had a lot of boys debut. It must be exciting playing with those guys, mate, at the moment. Yeah, definitely um, young and fresh and they're eager and you know, it makes it a lot easier for us old fellas to get out in the park, give the young boys some early ball and let them do their thing. But um, talent coming through the competition is unreal. Awesome. We just got a bit of time off there. Mate, um, I'll let you go very shortly. Sean, I know you've got a bit of recovery to go and do over there, mate. But uh, any special messages you want to make uh, just before you head off, mate? No, I just think um, ourselves, yeah, we've just got to focus on ourselves this week. Um, you know, I thought our middles were unreal today. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can we can go again this week and Ooh, be Bowen. there on the big stage. That's it, Bowen said he just dragged down, just short. How good was your brother today? He was awesome. Oh, he's, he's the best, today. best player on the field by a fair way. Yeah, yeah, very, was, very uh, close. He uh, brothers at the moment just knocking on actually, the door for Tao. Yeah, 8 and 10 were outstanding today. Yeah, middle ground, really. yeah, he just... Oh, they're oh, on the phone! They're away! And they lift! And Darnell Guy over the back, following yeah. down with uh, Cliff Firefly Lower. Probably lucky he didn't get it. Was, uh, young Dylan Hasty. Well, he set sights for it, and he might have just heard the heavy breathing of Cliff Firefly Lower yeah. over his shoulder there, mate. In the old days, Dylan might have run away, but he's getting a bit older and it's not quite as quick. Shawnee, mate, thanks very much for joining us. All the best next week and throughout the rest of the final Cheers, series. Thanks for having me, Adam. Awesome. Thanks, mate. Well, here, that's. Uh, could have turned the tables there. It was all that brothers were banging on the door, and then all of a sudden it's Charters Towers. Yeah, cool. So, you know, the captain, you know, he, he doesn't need to come up here, but he was exactly. asked to come and have a chat, and he did. Making themselves available. Really so, great to see. A little bit of a crush. That's well, on the port, too. We've got that one. The other lurch. Two lurches at 14. About that, uh, folks, there. If you've been watching on, I forgot to Locky add the two on. Imagine these two come to guys, two towers, boys. Oh, here we go. Could be backyard type stuff, yeah, that, yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. A bit of a square up from backyard. Oh, days. I'd, probably, I'd probably support Connor, had probably got him being the older. I always found that the younger ones, mate, for what they lacked in a little bit of size and experience, they didn't uh throw away with a bit of go, and uh, they're also willing to uh. They're both, willing, dirty. they're both willing and able, those two boys. Let's put it that way. Exceptional young men, the, the lowest and boys there. say. So. Oh, penalty, penalty, penalty. Tell you. Do they take the two, Noz? They might be testing uh, the patience of uh, Taylor Worth here. No, nah, they're not going to. Mitch, Mitchie Burton hasn't moved. They're taking the tap. They're going they want the points six. here. And this shows the confidence in the Towers. Towers won the six. Sure, sure he goes. No way. Young Williams takes it up. Caden Williams. I don't know much about that young fella. I'll tell you what I do know. He's got long legs, big long limbs. Now, sure. Shaw, Burton. Burton. Jinx. He's Bradford. looking for a double. And he dragged it down close. And the Towers supporters over the back. Hasty at the post here. Oh. He's got, he's got the headgear back on now. Lurch in there. Connor. Shaw. Shaw. The old fire. No, brought down just short. Let's go and excel here. Is he appealing for it? No, no we've got held up. Oh. Don't you love your Sunday at the footy? Oh, yeah. Time off. This? Got a pause yeah, there. RCW. How do you think they're going? Sunday the Lurch, the the Lurch family going? Is there one of each shirt going on over there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say they're both going for the tails. Time on. <laughs> and McQueen, he's broken through. He's in. Harry McQueen, and doesn't he love it? They're up. And, geez, that'll give uh, put some wind in the sails there for the Charters Towers Miners. Tell you what, Ollie, I saw the Towers crew go up. Then I saw South, Western Lions, Central. So we know who they're going for here today. Yeah, I think uh, if you're not in a blue and white shirt, you're uh, probably struggling to go and find a bit of uh, love out there at the moment. But they'll get – there's plenty of blue and white I can see over on the deck, and I'm sure that they'll be uh, making plenty of noise to get the boys back here with that. They weathered a fair bit of pressure down here, the miners. Turned yeah. them away, and then they got an opportunity, and it is young Harry McQueen who went over there. Yeah, no, Harry. That's a good footy, young Harry. Yeah, what a game footy, though. Both this, teams just giving it to each other here. What a privilege. What an absolute privilege to not only be out here witnessing this game, but to be able to bring it to you live wherever you are. And if you're watching on... 
And uh, whether you're a supporter of ice sides here, I'd be getting on the phone and texting everyone around and sending them a link through because I can tell you this second half, I've got a feeling, Noz, I've got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good, good night. That's what the Black Eyed Peas told us. But no, I've got a feeling that this one's going to go deep and be an absolute classic. Yep, I totally agree. I'll tell you what, it's $10 to get in today and I paid me $10 to get in. Oh, you're a good man. And it was well worth... The ten dollars. You've been uh, renowned as a man with long pockets and short arms, so it's fantastic to see you over there uh, tipping in. I would say, who shouted the pizza for lunch today, Holly? <laughs> That's all I can say. And it wasn't you. Now here we go. It'll be a, a conversion attempt to Mitchie Burton. Well, I'm glad that this game is. Uh, you sort of get excited sometimes. There's games, mate. I was uh, up for this morning. Just got the uh, time off here, folks. Just having a look at that. Before this morning, I was that excited about the footy that we had coming up today, and it hasn't disappointed, mate, this game. Don't look at me like that, Johnny. I did have a, It was a bladder thing as well. I am getting old, but I did. I was also excited. <laughs> right, yeah, here we go. We get a time on again. As soon as he kicks it, it's time on, isn't it, Johnny? There he is. The great man. You can't get it wrong with Johnny up here. Oh, and he's missed it. And he's just pulled will that, that one away to the Will left. that cost... In the end, Richie Burton normally guarantee you two points. Tell you what, Friday night, the, the, the Rugby League Townsville and District, um, you know, end of year presentation night, and Jeffrey wasn't there. You know, older brother Jeffrey. Gee, that would have been a long, thought, time, long time between. I thought there was an ambulance incident in Chartist House because if he's not there, something's going on. I've never seen Jeffrey miss a free beer in his life. Dylan White gets us back underway. Apparently he was sick and he's better now. So uh, good to see you in your here, Jeffrey. Well done. Kinsey. And Kinsey, for a long time here at Charters Towers, he's uh, he's held up and done a big job that forward pack. Mm. And now they've just been waiting, probably the last year or two, Nods, they've just been waiting for this young crop of, of players to start coming through. And also their 17 side were one point short of playing finals footy this year as well. And a couple of very good lads that are floating around in that side as well. Matthias Santa Hero. Very good footballer running through there. So a lot of good kids coming through the oh, towers. Uh, one game off in reserve grade too, qualifying for the finals. They came like a train at the end. I think they won five of their last six games. Just fell at the last hurdle. But see that uh, had young Keenan Kerr back playing. Now Keenan gets serious. He's out here playing today without a doubt. He's in one of the one of the one to seven positions. Now they've got some talent. It's been a real Burton strong the league Dylan community. White. Both of these fullbacks have been very, very good in trying conditions today, White and uh, Heitman. You just look, as we run through this, and I just can't help it, the, the matchups you've got with young Heitman and Dylan White at the back. And now this edge here, we had David Mills Pryor and Harry McQueen. Now at the other side, you've got the old stager and Ty Carucci taking on the uh, the young Bailey Bliss, look, just across the park. Yep, it definitely is. Um, there's some great matchups here today. And now Mills Pryor! McQueen, he come like... He's in, he doesn't look like a footballer, Harry, does he? But he, he... Mate, I'm the last bloke who's going to be giving out tips on what blokes look oh, like. No, he just... I am far from an oil painting. So he has just got that worry look about him that he may be out riding a horse or something like it. Strong as well, an ox. Mate, you know, Zach Bryan said, if he's going to cowboy, he'll cowboy the best. I'll tell you what he did then. He showed a lot of speed. His Mills Cry, I thought was... Oh... I thought... Oh, no. And I've just put the mock on him. Sorry to... Uh... No, no uh, communication there. Oh, well, two and a bit to go. Could this be costly? I uh, apologise to young Blake Hartman, mate. That's the coach's, the commentator's curse there. Sorry. Oh, well, this is a chance for brothers because uh, the miners would have been pretty comfortable taking the ten six lead into half time there, but also probably on brothers' end they've been running into a stiff breeze, and but they've got an opportunity now to take some points. Who's got to come through here, Noz? If we're going to get points, brothers, who, who needs to touch the ball? Well, they've gone wide. I think White, Dylan White hasn't. Whitey hasn't touched the ball a lot. Obviously, uh, and you've more. got the brothers out on the edge there, Karuchi and Cullen. A lot of people yeah. don't know that. Cullen. Johnny Cullen. He's in. Is he? He's reached yeah. out, Johnny Cullen. Tellerworth points to the spot. And we're all locked up in the shadow of halftime. Oh, punches. Now, hang on. There'll be some time off get called here. Was that time, time off yeah, just then? Yep. Time off, yeah. All right, well, 
Look, mate, we've got uh, some experienced footballers here. There won't be too much in this. The boys know. I think he's kicked the ball away. Heitman's kicked oh, the ball Addo. away, and Addo's, Addo well, he's not, uh, is throwing the ball at Heitman. So, time off. He's not generally yeah, uh, off. Not generally known as being too cranky, Addo. Not around the footy. Uh, nicest man alive around the rugby league field, Addo Wyanga. Most polite young man that you'll come across, and uh, but sometimes across our white line, I know it's uh, he can't get his grumpy pants on. Yeah, I think Hyden's kicked the ball. I don't think there's a player on the ground, but referee Worth turned around and did so. You know, like obviously he's going to get a chat, but then Addo comes in and throws the ball at him for no reason. He yeah. should get the same chat. Yeah, this could be two here. Especially in Taylor the... Worth probably won't overreact here. It's probably just settle yourself down. And you're not going to the bin. Next time you will go to the bin if you do something stupid like that. The incident will be on report. That's, I would that's assume. an experienced referee. I'd also be talking to Addo. Yes, he is talking to Addo. That was dumb, is what he's saying. One bit of dumb and another bit of dumb is still dumb. Yeah. Don't do it. You've got to play in the final series. You want to get suspended for something very that, wrong. you know, like... Um, I had a uh, very, very good coach a long time ago that he used to have a bit of a rule. He didn't mind the boys mixing it up. Uh, but come finals time, it was... Uh, if you were the bloke who's going to put your, pull your hands out of your pockets, you're going to be gone because it's just... It costs too much nowadays, finals footy. You just can't afford to have blokes off and bit. And today we saw it with the teams who had uh, players, their brothers reserve grade, had the players spend 10 minutes in the bin late there, and Western Lions were able to get themselves back in. It's so valuable, so important discipline. Well, wow. you see the reserve grade centrals and um, South player in the bin, 16 points. 13 players on the field. Come on. What a half. Well, it's just set us up for an absolutely cracking second half. Yeah. I'm going to say it, brothers. Yeah, uh, Denise Weir, our NRL referees, development officer here. Take his time here, Addo. I don't believe so, mate. Uh, Addo generally does take a little bit of time over the ball. He's been renowned as uh, one of the longest kickers. So I think this is actually inside of one of his longest. Is he like the Brian Harmon of goal kickers? He, you know, he likes take, to take his time take over. Take a very long time. He's a very considered young man. Addo? I was going to say, I just heard a comment. Comment about being Jesus a 20 man. point breeze, but it was 20 points for South running into it in the second half of the last game. So that's uh, and that's from our great man Tony Walsh from uh, My Action Sports, who brings us the uh, allows us to bring the action to you. And he's just a he's a man of the people, he does every job. He's out here on a camera bringing you all the live action, and he's tipped it. He scored it a 20 point breeze. So, folks, if you can get on the uh, get onto any of the partner sports bet and they let you bet in the run, he's called it for 20, you reckon? So Whoever you like in the second half, get on them with a 20-point start. Wow, this is now... If you can get some Benny Hill music over this... We couldn't find it in time, folks, but that'll have to do for you. The Dulcet Tones at Nosworthy and Hall. We'll also like a bit of Hall and Oates. We'll be playing here later on this evening. Fancy yourself on the, on the microphone, Nod? I know we spent a few times at the karaoke bar together. Yeah, I fancy I, fancy I can sing, but I can't really... And he's called for one of his mates to come and. Uh, I could be called time out. Yeah, this time is to go home. It's, this is it? Long he's taken. This is common cape. There's here. 28 bin chickens on the field already. <laughs> That's, That's how long he's taken. Keep, well, look at him. Oh, mate, this is basically back the halcyon days of the Adelaide Oval. The pigeons start moving in. Is he going to hold the ball? Is Chip going to hold the ball there? This will do me. This will take I actually me. did see the boys down here at training this week uh, going through who was going to be the ball carrier. They actually ran through a couple of scenarios, Chippy being the best of the ball holders. Well, I um, can't back any of that up, but uh, but Chippy is experienced, so he's going to step up here and help his mate Addo out. <laughs> he's got his finger on it. It's just legal. How long do you, you actually get when you, they take the ball off you? I've never seen that. But I think we should introduce a rule because fair thing. He's called it. Here's a new rule change because that's what rugby league needs. Time on. And Addo moves in, strikes it after all that and doesn't like it. So after all that, folks, if you're still at home and you're awake, stick with us because the, the action is going here with a minute and a half to go. 
Let's uh Hang on. Yeah, I just woke up. Sorry. <laughs> you got me. Took a long time to miss that, but anyway, tough kick. He did strike it all right. And he uh just I don't didn't... think we'll need a half time break after that. They've had a ten minute spell. We should we just turn around and go again. Kick it to me, sure. He looks as though he's gonna kick it straight to us. But anyway, if he's not, this is gonna be the side sw swivel. I'm not sure that's working for him. Well, up Jack Taylor. Is that Jack Taylor onto the field? Oh, that's Joppy Price, mate. The big red. Oh, it is. It is too. Joseph Price and Lurch. Well, you can't run without a throat. Radford. And down the Charters Towers corner saying, what's wrong with that? You can't run without eyebrows. This is this a uh, have they dead set moved a smaller version of the snake pit into he's, the corner here, Noz? He's put that on. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's uh, the snake, snake pit traveling. Snake pit chalk pen, any other little uh, one that you want. So they've got about uh, two plays here, Hawley. Look at that. Oh, Colby Roos has dropped it. Rose the Roos, shout out to the boys at the Chooks there. Still going, Rose the Roos. Reserves. They are still fighting away, mate. The Chooks. Hello, Wyanga. Mills Pryor drops it on. Khalifa Fife. Oh, no, and Eitman just puts it into touch. And that'll be all she wrote for halftime, folks. We'll let you take a breath as the siren goes in the background. I thought we were going to get the Phoenix siren out again there, Oz. No, no Phantom for me in the second half. But that is halftime, and the scores are locked up at 10 points apiece. Oh, you could not have scripted this any better for Roger White. This... Uh, this is unbelievable. He's got what he wanted, a 10-all. Right, Roger, I'm expecting that you're going to get a please explain letter, mate, from uh, our friends Andrew Ade, uh down there at the NRL and just saying we cannot be competing with Rugby League Towns on District putting on matches like this up against our NRL games. The viewership through the roof will be here, mate. This is fantastic Rugby well, League. I like you. Mate. Right on the money. I don't get that often. I'll take that. Well, I don't get too many of those. I'll take that. But what an afternoon. What a great day it's been. The sun setting. How good's Rugby League? It's the most exciting thing since they made sliced bread. Sliced bread. Unreal, mate. Beautiful stuff. There it is, the chairman, Roger White. He's out of his seat. You take a breath and get back in your seat, and we'll bring you the greatest second half ready to go, brothers. Ten all against the miners.
is coming back to you here on the law to at Jack Mansky Oval. There we are. Let's have a bit of a look at how the setup that we've got here. We've got a fantastic setup inside the box over here, Noz. Yep. And uh, so 10 all, two and a half minutes to go in the halftime break before both our teams return. You got a tip? Oh, I was just thinking another great second half of footy. I'm not sure who's going to win. Um, the winner's going to be the punters that are here and the punters at home that get to uh, soak up and watch this one, mate. Well, just having a look at some of the scores around the uh, the north this weekend. We've got, uh, I think, Innisfail Brothers qualified to go straight through to the final this week uh, in a couple of weeks' time. They'll play the winner, I think, out of Ivanhoe's and Cairns Brothers next week. And today... Um, an ups, maybe an upset down in Mackay. Mackay brothers uh, rolled Serena, so they'll take on Magpies next week. So, brothers, brothers, hey, is that an omen? Maybe brothers go through here. I don't know. Well, there's a few people sitting over there in maroon and gold, mate, at the moment that uh, we'll be hoping that that's not the case. As we welcome the Charterstowns Miners back onto Jack Mansky Oval. Um, shout out to Carl and Coco out there at uh, Julia Creek. Coco said, said cracking game of footy. Not sure, to, not sure about the commentators though. Great Charter Stowers fan out there, yeah. Charter Stowers man. Kalen does a great job out of Julia Creek. One of the best uh, footy weekends that you'll get out there at the Creek, the uh, town versus country. We missed the music, Holly. We were going to play. We play a bit of music, but I don't know if it was loud enough there. Boys from the bush, and we're back in town. You'd know that one, Carlin. You'd be able to sing every word. You get high when the sun goes down. There we go. The morning, right? Old uh, MPW, Michael Parker Walsh, is playing a bit of uh, and we welcome the brethren back. On for the second half here. Here they go. Well, we'll have a better chance on this uh, second half. And it must be a bit of a club, I think, brothers have got working on the right-hand side here, Noz. With uh, all the boys going the short haircut, but we've got the uh, Carucci and Callan it is, it's turned step all brothers right. over here. Carucci, Callan, step brothers. <laughs> uh, reckon they've uh, become best friends doing karate in the garage. They haven't updated the score online either, so uh, we just updated it. It's 10 all, folks. And it sure gets the ball. Oh, Ty! Floating! Oh. Oh. Well, wow, mate, he was courageous. You know what would have been better if Lurch had got Lurch? Courageous from young Paul Lurch there. We've uh, spoken about it, mate. You know, sometimes in rugby league you sort of think, well, geez, there's a lot of uh, senior boys that are sort of falling out. But tell you what, rugby league keeps producing. Is quality young men that come in and take their places and go on a grade, and that's why the game's so great and will never go anywhere. There's always a fresh flock of juniors, exciting young men. Oh, what's on there, Heineman? Here comes Mills Pry. He's got some toe, Heineman. Does he know he's there? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's right in the corner. This will be a great start here, using the breeze too, brothers, early on. How good was that kick from that, eh? Unbelievable. And they're coming in numbers. This could be a drop. Oh, there's about 12 of them there. There's only three other blokes across the field for brothers. They nearly drive him back into that snake pit. It all came on the back of a, a courageous take from the kickoff. Great kick. That's an enormous set first up straight after uh, the drinks break. Just got a shout out there to Sammy Canoe. Said uh, you and I have both got a head for radio, but up the miners. Don't worry, we'll Getting uh, a few calls from up the miners. If any brothers supporters out there, give us a yell. Getting a couple through here for brothers, Noz. Just a couple. Let me go check my phone for you. Uh, yeah, no, plenty of brothers. People are reaching out and getting around them. He's got none. Folks. That'll be one, uh, Braden Hall, Liam 
Now, look at Daniel Geyer. Jeez, he's as good a balance runner as you'll ever get, Daniel Geyer. Can wear a bit of first contact. Let's go. That's a pride. Oh, Price. Oh, oh. Man. So just a little touch forward. And, jeez, you hear it from Penton down there in the corner. I think the pit is here. I think that's the snake pit. It just moved from the towns to here for the day. Pentland, that's a big call. Hello to anyone from Pentland who's listening. I've spent a bit of time out there in the pub. I mean, it, on the cricket field. <laughs> I reckon, Noz, I reckon if, uh, with the towers floating as hard as they are, anybody who was out along the Flinders Highway is all of a sudden a charter tower is... Uh, they know somebody. So they've got a relative on the side. It's a brother, a cousin. Yep. Oh, I'd be pretty cool for um, the game if the towers were, you Ooh, know, just slips under one next made it. But tell you what, the way South played today, they're going to be very hard to beat. Whoever loses this game today, it's going to find it extremely difficult. If the two known has put together the games that they put together today, next week, hard to beat. And, uh, I do want to give a <laughs> shout-out to young Lucas Dummett, mate, in that last game. There was a penalty there <laughs> for Centrals. In a beaten side, that young fella was uh, – he couldn't have done too much more. Uh, he was and everything. And uh, he's a great future acquisition. And probably uh, – how old well would Lucas Dummett be now, mate? Has he hit 21s yet? No, uh, he's I don't old. even think he's that close. He's gotten past that. Yeah, 20. So uh, maybe if Adrian Thompson's floating around, I'm sure he's floating somewhere here, trying to hide between his blue and white and his Charters Tower shirt. He'd be waiting until after full time. Oh, he'd have his Winton shirt on, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, there you go. That's uh, that's how we uh, swing through it. But uh, spend a bit of time both areas. But uh, I'm sure he would have taken notice of uh, those matchups there. Young young Blacks, the big supporter Adrian and the Blackhawks here for bringing through our young guys. And he would have noticed a couple of those as Heitman now swings around to the left. Speaking of another one, he spent a year here, Blake Heitman, with the uh, Blackhawks. Yeah. And he's another one that I can see taking a step up to a preseason yeah, yeah, up there. Yeah, he's got the game here. Number of boys there, the young fellas that have got good footy in them. Young Harry McQueen did a preseason here too. And, uh, mate, I do know the challenges for those boys that they sort of go into work, which all of them have, but also the towers. Oh, it's white men. Oh, I've got him again. I'm going to stop talking about you, Blake. Sorry, mate. You've given him two. No, I'm going to take Noz. Only you can talk about Blake Hotman from now on. I'll refuse. I'm not going to talk about the young fella. I don't want to mock him. Yeah. Apart from that haircut, though, I will say one more thing. What's happening there? <laughs> Is that no. fresh for today, you reckon? When you're young... You, you know, he's doing apprentice carpenter and he's living life. And he's good well, that's the carpenter special, that haircut. He can have a haircut whatever way he wants. He can grow it, he can have it. It's just jealousy from us. That's certainly. All right, Lurch in there. Norfolk oh, off the yeah. field, young Lockie Lurch. And, yeah, Darnell's been good. Played a bit of reserves grades this year and he he's just been in and out of A grade. But I'm pretty sure he's going to spend a lot of time in A grade in his career. Certainly will. Chippy, old Chippy Koroshek, been around forever. I have to take the one you calling him out. But there's Chip. He's on it again. Well, he's not young. Experienced. Yeah. Well, a that's... Polish international. Chippy Koracek. Now, yeah, Lurch. And another no way. Oh, no! He's bounced off. I think he's Off one, off two. Oh, he's short. Oh, well, you didn't even need to wait to see the referee's call there because the people down the back let you know. And as I was doing some video through the season here. Uh, of the sides, and that uh, oh, there was a couple of times where Addo very close to the line. That's a bit of a signature of his. Could be. Uh, if we get time, time off? off. If we just got time off, folks. So is he might have an injury down here. Is it Addo? That's potentially a cramp. He's prone. He's prone to cramping, Addo. He's had some dramas with it this year. Well, Johnny said no cramp, and now he's got back to his feet. So Johnny had him off in the stretcher. And uh, now he's gone straight back to his feet. So uh, you're spot on there, Johnny. I did the same thing to Curtis Dempsey in the last game. But guess what? He didn't come back up. Half Goodness time, gracious. Curtis. I'm glad you're not a doctor, Johnny. You'd have me, buddy, already in the body bag, eh? Fair dinkum. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's got him. He's got him. Hey, he got an elbow injury. He got an arm injury by the looks of it. You ready to go, mate? Yep. We're on the job here. Now Mick Hillshire out there doing some of his best work, getting you a take and then you keep him out. Well played, Mick. And uh, Big Tony at the back, I'm sure he'd be appreciating the extra time on the field while they wait. Just wondering what Mick's up to over there. Bit of concern for Rado 
So, uh, like the last game too, Curtis Dempsey copped a bit of an injury. There was a bit of concern. Can be a big change. And uh, an injury here to Addo Wang, it could be uh, the story of the matchup, the story of the second half in North. Well, big in, in context of uh, this week and next week, potentially finals, huh? though, if it's a long term. He's back to his feet. Pretty sure he's going to play. He's had his elbow taped up. Pretty sure with the, uh, the financial uh, backing of the Brothers Club, he's pretty sure to get a good physio and doctor or something this week. Mate, we're just a button club over this way, brothers. Oh, strong defence from Daniel Guy. Joe Pride Jeez, over the mate, top. There's going to be plenty of Radox getting a crack after tonight's game. Is that Kinsey? Where? <laughs> they love that. Kinsey on Belling's Eddie. Oh, I've loved this battle out on that edge. Queen and Pryor. Oh. Just don't stop. Let's play. Let's play all day. Let's just watch those two blokes go at it all day. Look on the lights. Hasty now. Good shoe out of dummy half. Bounces up for Dylan White. Returns it in a good strong kick chase from the towers. Yeah, Johnny Cullen. Yeah, good one. What's up, Mitchie Burton? Taken down by Bailey Bliss and Kinsey. Now Lurch. Smart from Lurch and just eats up another 10 metres. Hey, not a good tackle from Radford. Been impressed with young Radford. Mary Anderson, oh, well, hang on. Oh, Joseph Price. Well, cleaned up the scraps there, didn't sure he? That could he, have been uh, anything. I'm sure he appreciates having to bend down and catch up. 10 minutes into a second half. Oh. Trey Valentine now. Tell you what, Hasty went in on Darnell Guy then, went in hard, and he come off second best. He's holding his shoulder. And a little kick through, Heidman there. I will not curse him. No. I won't even say it, young fullback from Charters Towers. Well done. Yeah, as a right. Lenoy at Sam at there. This is just end to end. Pulsating. Joseph Price. Oh, I thought it was almost six more, Mitchy Basket. Oh, he. Oh, nearly poked his nose through. Mr. Perpetual Motion, Mitchy Basket. Yeah, yeah, he's Ray Price. Ray Price of the Towers. Bradford. I'll grind here, the Towers. That's all they're doing. Oh, and... That's six more. Price. Could have gone anywhere then. You can see that happening, though, yeah. all the A, like... Nostradamus, I could see it happening. Any chance of the uh, Powerball numbers? No, nothing this week. What are you doing? Hey, Steve. Toppy on the Saturday would be good. Well, that didn't happen either. William Shaw. Sure. Oh, look at the old fox just taking it in. What is he, 28? A bit more. Oh, cramp. <laughs> look out, cramping. That cramp says he's 32. Uh, he's at least, I think he's. A few more than that, too. I'm sure he. You know, I'm sure, sure he, uh, whilst he's in a little bit of pain, he'd be happy to know that he's still got calves. Can someone tell Muskie you've got to get the leg straight to fix it? <laughs> <laughs> if we get time off there. Derek, straight in the leg. Which he's in the leg. Uh, going to hurt there, sure. It's a bad one. We're back on. The old hurt lock, he's gone. Corey Walker. Oh, jeez, he's trying to work it off. He's a warrior. Now, Burton. Little kick. He's gone on Robson the left. Robson on the left again. Oh, well done. Ah, Johnny oh. Cullen. He wouldn't go astray as an extra in an Avengers movie, Johnny Cullen. <laughs> what superhero name would you give him? I don't know. You're telling the story on that one. <laughs> Not a fan of the Avengers, Noz? No. Nah. Not a movie buff? Actually, well, I like two yeah. country and western. Yeah, I was going to say, is it just a, anything that's got the Duke? He's going to be a big fan of. Yeah. Now, Nick Brown, magnificent seven, one and two. <laughs> there we go. He's and, uh, he might be looking for a forty twenty. Here he is. Oh, not going off the chest. Oh wow! Nowhere go there, young Cashmere. So there it is, folks. If you're sitting at home and after tonight, you need something just to uh, bring your heart rate back down. I'll just train you up a couple of good watches there. 
the Magnificent Seven, one and two. It'd be great for a movie review and Blue Collar Sports. We're going to bring that to you later on. Hopefully, it'll be a feature of some of our uh, stuff over the finals. It's Shawshank, not Shawshank, movie, Shawshank Redemption. Except Andy fantastic. Dufresne came to Shawshank. And no, no, he was, he moving on. Unlucky there for the young fellow. That ball was going really hard at him and he, he got his body. Well, is that or a 40 20? So he's yeah. put his body on the line. He's knocked it on. But the towers have been resilient in defense, both sides of the ruck, left and right. No, there's a bit of space here. Mills Pry gets around. McQueen's on him. Well, talking They're to McQueen, you could probably now. watch The Great Escape too, you know. And wouldn't get changed in three hours. Which <laughs> good share. Lurch. 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 Come on, Lurch. Oh, he might have even got a little golf clap out of this snake bit there, Connor Lurch. That's the uh, Towers fullback now, Bellingzetti. Little dummy and go. The young fella, Bingy. <clears throat> Gaia. Gaia shows. Off low. Off low, Brown. Brown might go in. Brown, in. he'll go Brown in. in. They're up in the back there, the blue and white. All six of them. Look at them go. Oh, please. <laughs> The blue and white army. No, for, oh, they're down on the deck, two doors. They're everywhere. The blue and white army. They undercut them. There's at least 12. Try scored by Rugby League Townsland District for the year. Uh, Nicholas Brown. <clears throat> Brothers 14 at Lee Charters Towers 10. Yeah, it was just. Sustained, wouldn't it? Addo, Addo uh, Wayang is kicking them into this game. keeping He's just controlling it, isn't he? Kicking them into corners, making them work out of their end. And it's I don't know, we're starting to tell a bit of a tale here. Tao is all in, hopefully, will rise another the effort. With the breeze to their back, they're uh, it's probably everything that Michael Parker Walsh would have been looking for. Very controlled effort. Just looking to go there. And I'll tell you, just uh, standing up what we see on the bench. <laughs> Nathan Norford, that is a handy acquisition to have to come on late in the game uh, mm. after going up, after scoring points and, and going to the lead. Tom, has he called time yet? Has he called time off? No. No. Just confirm, folks. We'll keep on to it. A bit of run and repairs on it, young Addo. We will be time off in a minute. So we, uh, sounds like Taylor Worth might actually be hooked up to Blue Collar Sports down there and he cop the, uh, might have heard us, mate. And then there it is, time off here. <laughs> there is a certain amount of time, ladies and gentlemen, after they score a try before they have to blow time off. Yes, yeah, two minutes. So, sorry? 90 seconds. Minutes? No. 57, yeah. 57 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 53 minutes. Mm, what are you talking about? Like, if it's going up, like, that's counting down. This is counting up. Oh, yeah. 50, 53 minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get ready, mate. Just doing some quick maths over here, folks, with the school teacher Scott Nosworthy right across it. Finger on the pulse. Time is back on. As Addo Wanger moves in, yeah, strikes yeah, yeah. it. Strikes and it. And converts it. Likes it. Conversion successful to the brother's half, Addo Wanger. Brothers 16, the leading Charters Towers 10. I know you mentioned the Shawshank Redemption before then, Oz, and uh, a famous way out of that is that uh, hope, hope will kill a man. It's, uh, but there's still plenty of hope here for the Towers. There's only six points hit, plenty of time left. Of course there is. Um, she ain't over until that final hoodie goes, Hawley. And uh, is that not yet? The Towers yeah. will stick in there's there. One or two more chapters to write here, folks. Oh, oh and here could be one of them. Well, the bouncing ball. Joey Boyce is having nightmares. Well, a good chase for low, low, and the pen's up again. The new pen, I'm calling that. Going along, a little floater. Oh, Jesus, a floater. Oh, well, well taken. Well done by Cody Thorne onto the field. Another one of the young brigade and Darnell Guy and Nick Brown. Strong there. 
Corey Walker. And uh, Mitchie Basket now taken down 30 metres out on the right hand side of the field here at Jack Mansky Oval. Now, Brayton Porter. Brayton Porter, eh? Gets it to centre field. 22 metres out. Burton. Laid low on his inside shoulder. Goes outside now to Bliss. If, uh, yeah, they've done their numbers on the uh, two centres from Charles. And he comes back down the short side. Six to go, 10 metres. Here, the, the referee. Ruck infringement. No, it wasn't. Now let's see what they can come up with. Burton. Thorne. Here's our man, McQueen. Yeah, just, just going a bit sideways there. If they get up, is it the great escape? Oh, it could be. Yeah, Thorne throws a dummy by oh, Shelby Boyce out of the line, but doesn't get taken by, doesn't uh, throw Nick Brown out of the way. Here now. Close. Burton inside. Heitman. He's strong little He fella. will be inches, and it's the last. Hasty, oh, and that'll be another set of six. It'll be, well, they are just building pressure. Back to back. Smart footy from the towers. Jesus, is, uh, it's great to see so many people out to watch the footy here. Local footy doesn't get any better. Get down with your families on the hill, the kids out the back. This is why you love the game, Noz. He's off the side of the boot. They're going to let this bounce. Oh, got lucky. And it was a uh, kind bounce there for Mitchie Burton. This is uh, this is why you love grassroots rugby league, Noz. That was an A-grade bounce. He got lucky. Laid low. Head down, doing his job. No, sir. It wasn't forward. A long way to find anyone any tougher than Ty Laid low. Giving Lurchie a couple. Porter. Probably know each other. No, certainly they'll be talking over a couple. Ben in the elbow later on. A couple of China plates. Now Burton. Bringing Bliss back on the inside. Straight into Nick Brown. Got to do a little bit more in the middle, I think, the towers. to start to create some space on those edges. They just don't... Burton at the back. Thorn. So there's been a reshuffle in the heart here. So Shaw, he must have had to go with the uh, cramps there. Adam Shaw. He's off the field. Cody Thorn playing 5-8. This is, oh, I thought he was going to call play on. Yeah, but there's a knock on and they, uh, well, we disappointed the Towers. Disappointment might be the wrong word. Frustrated maybe that uh, they didn't quite get the end of the set that they were looking for. The young team just going to hold it together. 23, minutes, 23 minutes is a long time with, uh, in, in rugby league. Just going to find out with Shory what they're thinking, whether or not he's, uh, we'll see if we can get some information. Roving sideline eye. So they say they've replaced presidents in less than an hour. 23 minutes is a long time in a game of rugby league. <clears throat> time off. Go again, sir. And time off. Right, uh, we'll just get down to our sideline eye. There's yeah, starting to get a little bit of pushy and chubby. Young Towers boys are standing up with the brothers boys. Just... Consulate professionals here. Just doing their job, boys. You're just pushing through. Nick Brown takes the next hit. Who's going to take the next one? Yeah, Addo gets the ball. Puts it up. Puts it Jeez, deep. It's hoisted oh, high. It's got ice. Oh, safe as houses, that young man, the fullback from yeah. Charters Towers out the back. Whenever you don't call his name, he does well. Just lay off him. Holy. Ever since I stopped calling his name. He's been killing it, uh, so I'm yeah. giving no more rest of the young fella. It's uh, been great, a great battle by both fullbacks. Corey Walker. Hasty now goes the short side. Cool. Bliss. Oh, he's half through a hole then, McQueen. I think there's been a forward back on reshuffle here. Noz? Looks like oh. Azariah Lenoy's moved to the left centres. That's playing That's on. an error, and he's got the ball here now, Azariah. So it looks like Azariah Lenoy's moved to the left centres. Yeah, centers. I thought it was a knock on from Brothers. And he's called it. <clears throat> so let's just uh, end the pushed. 
Good game of footy, Ollie, eh? It is, certainly is. Now, Bailey Bliss may be playing in the halves with McQueen in the centres and Cody Thorne on the wing. So there's been a reshuffle. We're just seeing if we can get an update. But it looks like Adam Shaw could be potentially in a bit of trouble there. Hopefully it's not uh, too bad an injury. Yeah, we thought it might have been a cramp. They're putting someone on his leg. It's uh, over there on the bench, so, I can see. Well, with that, they've still got, I guess, games either way. There's bigger games to come yeah. for the Towers. So they might just be putting Shaw on ice here. So the young brigade for the Towers. Here's an opportunity for him to stand up. Twenty minutes to go. Two metres out now, Charters Towers. Just to the right of the upright, Hasty to Burton. Burton now plays out the back to Heitman. He holds it this time, Hawley. You've done a good job. Put off his back. Going back through the middle. Defensively strong, brothers just, through uh, the middle. Joe Boyce leading them up there. He's, he's... You just see they're just that little bit lost now. Uh, yep. With Mitchy Burton having to take a fair whack and controls the last here. Now Burton. Bliss. Oh, yeah. I think Mitchy realised that uh, the, the, the option under pressure wasn't the right one. He probably should have put a little kick in behind you on the line. Maybe Paul Arado to shoot up on that uh, on young Bailey Bliss. He does shoot I'll tell you what, if uh, with young Azariah, Lenoy, Sam moving over to this side, <laughs> the left edge has got to be a target for the Tails. Norford now back onto the field. Boyce. Yeah, smart move from Coach Parker Walsh to get Norford out there for the last 20. Experienced campaigner. Penalty go with it, compounding it. There's almost a hush around the, the grounds, isn't there? People just anticipating something to happen. It's which way? It's, it's right in the cusp of it now, Mills, isn't it? It's which way it's going to go. Now, another try from Brothers and uh, starts to get hard for the Towers. That's something the light's coming on now, Holly. What are we saying? That uh, the lighting bill is going to go up. Now... Yeah. Nick Brown. He's taking it back through the middle here, and that's probably a lot of experienced heads in the brother's side here in uh, moments like this. They were here last year in a similar situation. Yeah, Norford to the left. Wyanga now. Norford uh, put on his back by Porter, and he's... He... Might have had a couple of words there, not sure. He goes yeah, himself, North the North old North. fox, he's in. 12, 12 people you reckon, Noz? Well, they're getting a growing voice. They must have doubled as Nathan Norford crosses for the brethren. And now they extend their lead out, Brothers 20, leading Charters Towers 10. There is not many. What is it? Uh, Tries, the Brothers win. captain, Nathan Norford. Brother Swensey, lead the Charters Towers, minus 10. Do you want a latte? Two sugars, or are you going to have your... Do we have another beat? Oh, sorry. Just uh, if you caught that. It's all professional up here, just on the coffees, folks. Professional atmosphere we like to create. Khalifa uh, having a conversation with our referee, Taylor Worth, who's... Probably trying to avoid every word that Khalifa's got to say to you in the background. They would have spent a fair bit of time together, uh, Khalifa and Taylor. Taylor being a touch judge there in cup, and Khalifa spending time out here on this left edge. So in this corner, they reckon. Talking about his ability with the flag. Mm. But Whitey taking the shot here. We upgraded the score, yep. 20 points to 10. Addo, he's battling through here, Addo, at the minute. So, big story coming out of this one is there's a couple of uh, a couple of boys here carrying an injury through the next week, so it looks like Adam Shaw. Struggling to touch his, held their flags up. Blake White and Sam Nosler, they had touch judges today. Conversion successful. Yep, conversion successful. Well, that's two converted tries. 16 to go. Is it a bridge too far? A hill too tall? 
Very successful. Two brothers, number one, Dylan White. Brothers, 22. Lee Charters Towers, 10. Straight to White. I hadn't finished yet. You jumped in. Sorry, mate. And I uh, can give you an update on Adam Shaw. He's uh, getting a bit of strapping. He's hoping to get back out there. So I think at the moment they're just sort of gauging uh, where they're at. But we could see Adam Shaw return and see only us here. Old Tun's over there. He's got his, he's putting socks on. He's hoping for a concussion from Troy so he can get a game. As I said the other night, he told himself appointed 18th man just in case. Rogers had a great day up here. He's handled it very well. It's been he's, a uh, exciting day. He can destroy a hamburger. I know that. Cake. The sweets. Loves his sweets. Carrot cake. Was it 8 out of 10? Yes. Maybe even a 9. Nick Brown now. Oh, that's oh. got to be forward, sir. Yeah, Lenoy Sam. Just uh, starting to get a little bit loose through the middle now, the towers. Good advantage from our referee, Taylor Worth. He's going to blow that up and then went that. A little bit of advantage here. Heidemann. McQueen. Oh, he almost had that arm free. He's going to let Thorne go down that edge and negotiate his way, but pulled down. Porter. Porter. Brothers just starting to get on top, I think, here, Hawley. Feels a little bit that way. It's getting a... Bonnie a little bit harder to find metres through the middle, but as we say, that lay low. Lay low. It's 30 metres out I play, now. I play foot. I play Ashes cricket. Charters Towers with uh, young Ty Bo. He's a much better footballer than cricketer. Just got a little bit lost in that. Uh, it's yeah. a massive loss. I'm sure he's huge part of their side. Yeah, you want you want uh, Mitchy Burton to take the reins here, don't you? But it seems to be seems to be where they are a little bit lost. Mitchy probably got to play both sides of the field here. I think they're going to go right to Bliss. No, they come back left. That's Corey Walker. Corey Walker, yeah. Played a bit of footy down uh, with Burley. I believe Corey, and he's a teacher. Or a teacher's aide up in the Towers. McQueen. Say so that would be a knock-on into the brothers. It was Bailey Bliss looking to just try and get him on his outside there. Try to skip over, but couldn't quite get it. And it'll be a brother's ball. We've got some lights on, some lights off. They're hedging their bets here, I think. It's been an uh, outstanding day. Thank you to the RLTD, all the sponsors. We've made it uh, possible what a great season that it's been, and then to be able to bring you the action here, live from Jack Mansky Oval. Hope you've enjoyed the stream so far. Wherever you are, and you'll be able to go back and watch it. You can even watch it with the sound turned down if you don't enjoy the uh, commentary. Yeah, and if um, they are doing a cross to our heads, we turn it off and just watch nothing for a little bit until it, it's more exciting. Now, uh, 22 10, 12 to go. Brothers, they're just the, the ultimate professional team, aren't they? Just They're just rolling through here. You watch, they'll, they'll, they'll get played at three or four, probably um, put a kick down, turn them around, and your man, Blake Heidemann, will uh, have to pick the ball up under pressure and try to get do his best. And that's effectively what they've done. They've negated a bit of the strike pair of the Towers. They're back five today. It's from doing the little professional things. That's what they say, Noz. It's always uh, you want to be hard to beat first before you're worrying about winning. And uh, that's certainly what they've aimed at today. Lado is off the field. So um, Jesse Palmer Anderson's... And he's been taken in the touch. I think the kick come off slightly off the side of the boot, but um, Young Cashmere is... Uh, They're going to have to uh, do a bit of soul searching, dig deep here now, the Towers boys. Young Cashmere took the ball and was bundled into touch, and here we go, full set of six. Yeah, see it there. Well, 30, Vance juggled it, and... Uh, 30 on out, Cullen. middle of the field. Take so, uh, geez, it's handy to have a bloke like Ty Carucci was in a sentence, who's able to slip into the halves. And, yeah, uh, plenty of options. You know, I think uh, Joe Pride very out here in the, in the centre, is yeah. haven't they? Joe Price, yeah. Joe very Price very experienced, uh, Ty Karuchi. And uh, <clears throat> it's a nice luxury to have. And now as Price goes off his left foot. Any step, brother? Any can't. Brown. Brown. Through the middle.
Norford oh, again. Oh, he's just played out the back. Knocked down by Walker. Six more. Oh, well. They are holding on tight here, the Towers. Now, brothers, got a perfect opportunity to probably uh, extend this now and make it very, very tough on the Towers from here. Scrum, 10 metres out centre field. Norford at the back. Goes to Khalifa Fifi Law. He comes oh, off Khalif. his left. He bounced off. Is he Strong over? Strong defence. He's short. He's rolled. He's held up. That's Bailey Bliss that got across there. Time off. Might have been a second effort. Oh, yes. Bailey Bliss coming across there. Yeah, double unders for Lousy. And, and he's he got scored. it there, Sion Lousy. They're up the brethren. Taylor Worth points to the spot. And brothers extend their lead at 26 points to 10. Try scored by Brothers Front Row. The only Lousy extends Brothers' lead at 26 over Charles Towers minus 10. Kick to count. They've still found plenty of voice down the back there, Noz. Still yeah, a little bit of adversity here for the Towers. The, the, the Towers crew has got a little bit quiet, I think. Um, I think they know we're 26 10 with a kick to come, soon to be 28 10. That uh, three tries in eight minutes might be a little bit stretched too far, but uh, they certainly competed today. They certainly stuck with brothers, but the ultimate professionals, um, the ultimate professionals, Michael Parker Walsh and his team. And you got that, you know, you just got that experience of Nathan Norford and Sione Lousy and Khalifi Fai Lara and Chippy and Karuch. And, you know, they've just got it all over the park. And then you got the young, you know, Prior Mills and Balanzetti. They just, yeah, they'll, they'll be a tough team to be grand final, though. And conversion successful there by Dylan White. Always a tough team. 8 points to 10 with that. Uh, Eight minutes remaining here in the qualifying final. So we'll have a bit of a run through for you <coughs> for next week. And uh, in our under-19s games earlier today, we saw brothers make their way through to the final. And Western Lions defeated Centrals over on field two. So Western Lions will take on South next week for a spot in the grand final in the under-19s as the kick goes high. Dylan White races forward and scoops it up. Safe as hell. In uh, reserve grade, we had a cracker here that went to extra time with Western Lions on the boot. Uh, Western Lions winning it off a penalty in extra time to defeat Brothers. So Brothers will be taking on the fast-finishing Centrals in reserve grade, and what a great game that looks uh, to be next week. And then in the women, we had the Burdekin Roosters who were beaten by Western Lions here today. Western Lions were clinical. As they are, uh, they'll be taking on Centrals, who defeated Brothers over on field two there today. So Centrals and the Birkin will be a repeat 2022 as our sparring partners go at it again. And uh, the game before this one, you would have seen that South were victorious late. Uh, been able to rack up a couple of points late in the end of that game there to get over the top of Centrals. So South is waiting patiently with bated breath for... Their opponent, which at the moment, as the clock ticks down, is looking more and more likely to be the Charters Towers Miners. It's gone back, so it'll be a play on. Here, yeah, Peter, oh, back. That's a knock on. There he goes. That's a knock on. Got him on the second one, and it'll be a knock on both ways. So they'll have a breath.
Bliss to McQueen now, just roped in by Taikaruchi. Now, the towers, Kinsey, he's been big take, Kinsey. Yeah, they've tried hard, the towers. You, you can't knock their effort. I think their coach would be proud of their effort. Um, so beaten by a better footy team today, I think. You know, with five minutes to go, I can't see them coming back from this. But I'll be back next week, the towers. They'll be bigger and better. They'll have more supporters. And you now they've got to be a very good south side. There's not much in the, any of the comps in the towns for the competition. Yeah, the Charters Towers, they're going to fight this right out. They're in the left-hand corner here. And now, might be a knock on there. So, we've got a bit of a push and shove in the corner here. A little bit restless. Not too, boys aren't running sort of too quickly towards it. I think the crowd in the corner are probably a bit more excited about it than most. As they are to do, as they, they likely do down there. We've got... Uh, Vision, oh, actually, it's starting to get a bit willing down there. You get that. Have we got that on there? Time. We haven't sort of got too much vision of what's unfolding down here at the moment. It's right in the corner here. We can't see it. It's under the green stand, so... We've got time off here. We'll uh, referee Taylor Worth just to sort this one out. And we've got the balls coming back out from underneath. So, apologies, folks. Right down in the bottom corner there. So, uh, just a little bit out of our vision here. I'm sure the punters at home all would have been pretty excited to, to get a bit of the action there. But. Late in the evening, yeah, well, taking a little bit of work, but Daniel Guy goes through, pokes his nose through, taking the ground now. Are we back? We're still off, Holly. We're uh, hoping we're back. Ten, we on? We are. Just uh, internet difficulties, apparently. Now we're back. Stick with us, but here we go. There we are. We're back. Three minutes remaining here, and uh, 
So it looks like it'll be Charters Towers looking to go around against Taylor Worth, just chucking a penalty there. Smart refereeing, I think. Uh, it certainly was. I think there's a couple of boys looking to put a bit shot on there, and you don't want to see the game go into a something you don't want in the last few minutes. Waiting for a ball to come down from over the back here. There it is now. That's right. Lenoy Sam. Kinsey. Well, what a fantastic day of rugby league we've had here. Jack Minsky Oval. Some fantastic games of rugby league. And our two A-grade games. What exceptional encounters that we had there. So we've had South Victors over Centrals in our elimination final. And they will be, what it looks like here, taking on... Charters Towers, you never want to say never, but taking on the Charters Towers Miners next week for a spot against Brothers in the grand final. Now Khalifa remonstrating with uh, Taylor Worth there. We've got 12 players on the field here to finish this up with. That'll go on report, so uh, we'll have a look at that during the week. Don't think referee, was, me young Taylor. Don't think there was much in that. Pulls him back here. Come on. Yep, got it. It's not going to make a difference, folks. Come on. Kinsey now running into Guy and Brown. Bliss. Oh, and that one bouncing off Mitchy basket, basket now. It'll be Dylan White. Kinsey welcoming him with open arms there. Well, they had some, uh, they were up against it. They were very strong early, the Towers, and they've had some adversary. Hopefully, uh, I'm sure the injury's not too bad, and he's able to go around. Chippy Koroshek now going That's back through. Sir. And he's got it. All day. And, uh, <clears throat> but now we're inside the throws of full time. So as we wind it up, I just want to say an exceptional day. Shout out to all the sponsors for Townsville Rugby Thanks, League. Thanks, Johnny. <clears throat> All the sponsors who uh, support Townsville Rugby League for getting here, all the clubs that have been involved today. It'll be a massive weekend next weekend. All the games will be live once again through Rugby League Townsville and District if you can't make it down there. But we've got some great encounters coming up next week. Stay tuned on the social media where all the information will get placed up so you can track who's playing who. But uh, it'll be brothers going through to another A-grade grand final this year. They went down to Herbert River last year. They'll be looking to go one better. And the Miners will play South to see who takes their place in the 2023 Rugby League Townsville District Grand Final. The clock winds down in the back. Bailey Bliss, he'll have the last say here. Mitchie Basket. Mitchie Basket. Oh, and it? Khalifa. Bye, bye, Aloha. Have a crack at Ryan Kinsey. If you think it doesn't matter, get a load of this bike. Has he done the Hemi? Anyone who thinks that these games don't matter, check out Chase from Kinsey, the front row for Chatters Tower on the inside. And Heidemann, that was a great chase from the boys. They went all the way to the end. And that has been a massive part of their... Uh, their game today. They, as always... <laughs> we said that fight it out right to the finish, and that's exactly what they have done here, the Towers. And a late try to Khalifa Fai Fai Lua. Brothers 32. With yeah. a kick to come. Uh, unless they're not going to take the kick here. No, yep, they will be. Come on, to be taking the kick. Yeah, well, yeah, well done, the brothers. Too good today. Um, yeah, professional done. team. What's it going to week? Did a great job. Um, deserved the win. Towers, head up, boys. you got next week. Be a little bit the out too. With, I want uh, a few more of the town down at uh, the juniors next week. You can get at least four or five out of the Towers. Thousand there. Let's have a sea of uh, maroon and gold. You know and, that uh, uh, South State traditionally, they're well supported. There'll be a lot of people down there supporting the uh, the Red Men. I'm sure the Old Boys Committee will come out. So uh, that'll be a massive matchup down there now. It'll be Dylan White to have the last inversion here. Thank you to everybody who's joined in. If you've joined us here on the live stream, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Scott Osworthy, for uh, sharing the day with me up here, mate. 
exciting day. Yeah, I love the footy. Let's go to go to footy and watch and look at buildings nowadays. And the new job with the Queensland Rugby League. But I've uh, been going down to footy all year um, with one boy playing and one referee. And as he kicks it from the sideline, uh, I've loved footy. I just I just love it. I love I love being a part of it this year again, sitting in the crowd and just yeah, it's our game is doing some great things. You might hear all the negative little things, but our game. 5% growth, people turning up. Look at the crowd here today, Holly. Great venue. That's what footy's about. That's what sport's about. We'll see you next week. Fantastic. Game of rugby league and the uh, conversion of the Khalifa. 5 5 lower trial by Dylan White makes our final score. Brothers 34 defeating the Charters Towers Miners. Thank you to everybody who's joined us here at Jack Mansky Oval today. Thank you. Put your hands together for both of these sides here in an epic encounter. Rugby League Townsville District looks forward to seeing you next week at our major semi-finals to go into the grand final. The matchups that you can get catch down at Rugby League at Townsville Grounds at Kern Brothers Drive in the under 19s. You will see Western Lions taking on South in the reserve grade. It'll be Brothers taking on Centrals in the women. It'll be the Burdekin taking on Centrals, and in our A grade, the Charters Towers Miners will take on South Bulls. We'll see you there. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, boys, eh? Thank you, mate. Thank you, everybody. who's joined us on the live stream here today. Uh, thank you for following along on Blue Collar Sports. Make sure you give us a share and a like. Rugby League Towns will be live throughout the whole series. Uh, you've got a special treat coming up grand final day with uh, the great Cameron Miller. We'll be making the trip down the highway to bring you all the action of the grand final. Don't miss a second. If you can't be here, you want to be online, that's where you're going to catch it. And uh, take a rest for next week. It'll be on again. Thank you very much, everybody at home and uh, locally. Who's doing, who's doing next week? Spiller. Spiller next week?